All right, here we go. Now it's time to add some interactivity. We want to create the interactive uh, interactivity, the triggers that actually open the door when we drag our character over each of the doors. So let's go ahead and begin by adding a hotspot. We want to add a hotspot over the doors and not make the entire door active. Now you can do that. You can make the entire door an active hotspot, but there are some benefits to using the hotspot and just covering up part of the bottom of the door. Uh, we'll see more of that at the end of this tutorial, but part of it is, is that when you drag the character over and then you drop the character, I'm just going to move her to the top. When you drop them, it'll center around the hotspot. And if the hotspot is, is really tall and you drop your character up there, it just looks a little funny as it goes through the transition. But anyway, we'll see that later on, but hotspots really work probably better uh, for this type of example. So here's what I want. I want to name this one hotspot left. And while I'm duplicating this, do you want to guess what the next hotspot will be called? Hotspot right. Give yourself a high five if you said hotspot right. So here we go. Right By default, the hotspots assume we want to show layers. I'm just going to delete those two triggers because we're not going to show a layer. But what we are going to do is change the door state when our character Christy is dragged over each of the hotspots. So let's go ahead and add a trigger. So what do you want to do and when do you want to do it? I want to change the state of not my character. I want to change the state of my door left to open when my character is dragged over. So there's my object is dragged over, the object being Christy and Christy being dragged over the hotspot left. Okay, let's preview the slide and just see how it works. Okay, so by, by adding that trigger, I've automatically made Christy draggable, and then there you go, you can see that it quickly opened it up. There we go. Now we're going to repeat that for the other door so we can open the door, and then we will continue to compound our triggers by adding new ones to close the door and change her state. So let's go ahead and change or add that extra trigger. So a fast way is just to copy this trigger and then paste it. And I don't want to change the door left this time. I'm going to change the door right so I can just double click it and then change it over here on door right and then change this to door right. So I'm going to change the, the right door to open when Christy is dragged over that hotspot. So let's go ahead and preview it one more time. Here we go. Grab her, drag her over the left door, drag her over the right door. Pretty cool, huh? In the next example, we'll go ahead and add the triggers to close the door when we drag our character away from the doors.